How to set up a composite structure for partial structure display. In this chapter, we will show you the settings of the composite structures and how to set up the different layer types. Activate the preset view located in the Chapter 4 folder. Open the Composite Structure Settings dialog. Go to Options menu, Element Attributes, Composites. Choose the Concrete Floor Internal Composite. Under the Edit Skin and Line Structure, the checkbox in the first column represents the core status of the layer and the second one shows if the finished component is active. You can also activate these checkboxes on the bottom left side of the palette. Take a moment and practice hiding and showing some components. Select all the layers one by one. The structural concrete is the core of the composite. If you create a new composite, you must assign a core to at least one layer. Now, let's activate the finish component on the lightweight concrete and insulation layers, and then press OK. Choose the Without Finishes option on the Quick Palette. You can see all layers have been hidden except the concrete core. Go back to Composite Settings and check out these two layers. Layers have been switched on. Only the plaster and the parquet are hidden because those are finished components. Switch to the entire structure to finish this chapter. When collaborating with other designers or with engineers, the architect is required to publish a structural plan that shows only the concrete structure of complex and composite elements. We can create a view set for this communication with the necessary layer combinations and model view settings and then publish it as a PDF or DWG file. Sometimes it is not required to show wall finishes below a certain scale on the architectural plans. However, they must be excluded from room areas to get the proper surfaces and volumes. Partial Structure Display provides flexible displays of core finished skins of composite and complex elements.